Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you my favorite photo books of 2021. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So if you're a regular follower, you've seen my videos in the past, the best lay flat photo books of 2020, five best budget photo books of 2019 and so on. This year, I thought I'm going to change this video a little bit because I'm finding it harder and harder to pick five or 10 books because there are so many great photo books and there are more and more photo books every single year. So instead of doing the five best lay flat photo books, I decided to do my favorites of 2021. The first thing that's going to be different is that I'm not limiting it to a certain number like 5 or 10, I'm going to break it down into categories. So in this video I'm going to uh, show my favorite photo books from budget friendly, uh, high volume photo books, handcrafted wedding albums, silver halide books, uh, concept books, and Apple books and so on. So it's going to be quite a few categories depending on what you're looking for. And I will show you my favorite in that specific category. This way I think the video is more fair to all photo books because if I only do a five best lay flat photo books, I'm going to miss out on a lot of non lay flat photo books and a lot of concept books and books that might be very beneficial to you, but you don't see it because of the video title. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I wanna say about this video is that obviously it's not a sponsored video, this is not an ad. Just to be very clear, if a photo book is not mentioned in this video, it doesn't mean that it's bad or I don't like it. I just want to pick a favorite for the year. And in order to be able to feature a lot of photo books every year, one year I might not feature a certain book, but I might feature it the year after. And this way you are going to be able to see a lot more photo books than if I only picked five every single year. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's dive in. So the first category I want to talk about is the photo books. They're more cost efficient and you can get a, a huge number of photo books if you need to. So for example, if you're looking for a photo book for a, a school or for a wedding and you want to give out lots of photo books to your guests or you want it for real estate or anything like that, then you might want to order more than one copy of the same book. And my favorite for that is Blurb. So I've got two books here from Blurb. And Blurb is, a, is an American company, but you can order their books from anywhere around the world. And the good thing about Blurb is that they have so many different options. They've got very basic trade books for black and white novels. They've got uh, standard photo books, um, which are uh, perfect bound. And they can go up, I think, to four or 500 pages. So you can create a very long photo book like this one here. And they also have uh, more premium options, lay flat with uh, premium papers. So anything you really want, Blurb can do it. They only do digital printing at the moment, so you won't find any silver halide or inkjet printing. So if you're looking for a, an amazing wedding album, I wouldn't suggest this photo book, but for the purposes mentioned in the beginning, a more cost efficient or high volume printing or book publishing, it's the perfect book and my uh, favorite go-to. The second category I wanna talk about is my favorite photo book editors or companies which make photo book editing so much fun and companies that can create kind of scrapbook looking, very vivid uh, themes in photo books. So my absolute favorite, and I'm going to mention three here, photo book worldwide, Mixbook and Siwi. Uh, and my absolute favorite here is a photo book worldwide. Uh, and not only do they have amazing themes to choose from and lots of lots of different photo books. They are available worldwide and they have a different uh, website in every single country, but they offer very different print qualities as well. They have the standard digital press, they have uh, an HD version of that and they also have Canon HD inkjet printing in some of their photo books, which makes the print amazing. So you can do um, very simple, uh, cost efficient photo books, but you can also create an amazing uh, flush mount wedding album if you want to. And the editor is going to be very easy to use. It's a great quality product. So I really love photo book worldwide for the variety that they offer and also the ease of use. The second one that uh, I would mention is obviously Mixbook. I've talked about Mixbook so often on my on my blog and on my vlog. It's one of the biggest companies in the world and again their editor is so easy to use. They have so many lovely looking themes. 
Mixbook offers different photo books again, lay flat with sturdy pages and standard uh, perfect bound books. And I think they can also go up to like 400 pages and they are available worldwide. The main difference between Mixbook and Photobook Worldwide is that Mixbook only offers one kind of printing, which is digital press printing or HP Indigo printing, which is not as good as Silver Halide or um, Inkjet printing. So if you're looking for the best quality in this category with the best um, editor, then you should go for Photobook Worldwide or Siwi. So that brings me to the third one, Siwi, which is just for Europe. So it's the biggest European retailer of photobooks as far as I'm aware, and they are not available anywhere else around the world. So that's why I mentioned it in conjunction with Photobook Worldwide. Siwi again has a huge range of photobooks, and I think they're available in many supermarkets as well. Like for example, in the UK, if you buy photobooks from Boots, they are all made by Siwi. The photo books by CV again cover a wide range. You can get very simple, affordable, uh, soft cover books with perfect bound pages, or you can get photographic photo books with silver highlight printing and gorgeous packaging. Just the one you see here is a wedding album and it, ha it can come with leather and linen covers and golden highlights. So you can have uh, anything from the, from the very budget friendly to the luxury category with a very nice editor. And again, it's available from anywhere in Europe. The next category I want to talk about is the pro photo books or wedding albums or professional kind of books. Now, these books are by no means exclusive to professional photographers. When, I'm, when I use the word professional, I mean that when you go to the website, it's obvious that they are catering for wedding album makers and professional photographs. So it's, it's not the same as Mixbook where you see lots of very colorful templates and you, you have to use your phone to upload your pictures. These photo book editors focus on high quality um, photographs and you have to use their desktop editor. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning two here is because Printeek, the first one, is only available in North America, I think United States and Canada, and Sal Digital is available in Europe. I think they ship now to the US, but it's a new service. Um, and I think it's only to certain states. So mostly if you are in Europe, you should use Sal Digital. And if you are in America, you should have a look at Printeek, which is, I think, based in New York. So Printeek has lots of lots of luxurious options, leather covers and flush mount albums with lots of uh, premium features. They have a very minimalist kind of online editor. And um, of course, uh, all of their photo books are printed using a silver halide technology. So they are lay flat and they have beautiful uh, colors and tone transitions in them, perfect for skin tones and wedding photos or nature photography, wildlife and so on. Sound Digital is very similar, but in Europe, I think they're based in Germany. And again, they have the same kind of uh, range for covers, leather, linen, wood look, metallic, um, printed, and they have presentation boxes. All of these books are lay flat, they are silver halide printed, and you've also got lots of different paper types to choose from, like luster, high gloss, um, satin. So if you're looking for that very high quality, traditional chemical print, um, these would be my two suggestions uh, for Europe and United States. The next category is going to be the handcrafted, kind of unique looking photo books. Now, these are very similar to the uh, wedding photo albums, but they offer an extra feature to make that photo book extra special. Not only are they uh, handcrafted, but you've got lots of lots of different cover options and you can choose the ribbon and all kinds of different things inside. So they just, they just look very pretty and timeless. In this category, I would like to mention two companies. One is Flipchap, who are based in Malaysia, and they have a huge, huge, range of photo books and lots of different materials to choose from, lots of beautiful presentation boxes uh, that can be perfect for weddings or any kind of special occasion. They are not exclusive to professional photographers and the photo books are a fraction of a price that you would pay to a professional photographer to get your wedding album made for you. You can also have some cost efficient options with Flipchab. They have some standard soft cover books and some standard uh, non-photographic books and they also have the high definition inkjet prints for their most premium range. The second one in this category that I want to mention is Milk and or M-I-L-K um, and I think they are based in New Zealand and this company again is available worldwide, is more expensive than Flipchap and I think shipping can be quite costly as well but they're very minimalist white looking, it's a beautiful website with beautiful photo books 
Now they don't offer any photographic printing as far as I'm aware, it's only digital press printing with four or seven colors, but um, the, the prints with the seven colors should look a little bit better. So the only drawback to that is that there's no silver halide or inkjet printing, but the papers that you choose from the layouts and the whole packaging and presentation of the books is absolutely gorgeous. So have a look at that if you would like something minimalist and very pretty looking. The next category is the post Apple kind of books. I know it's a weird one, but so many people were using the Apple photo books and when it went bust, uh, or not bust, when it basically stopped making photo books, a lot of other companies started um, making the Apple style photo books, which allows you to create books in a very similar style and with the exact same specs, the same size, same paper type and so on. So here I would like to bring to your attention two companies. One is Motif Photos, which is available as an extension in Apple Photos and you can create photo books which look just like the old Apple books. They're very nice, uh, kind of simple, minimalist looking books. They don't offer any photographic or inkjet printing and it's not your typical wedding album, but it's a nice uh, everyday kind of photo book for all kinds of purposes like travel, um, baby, family photos and so on. So if you want to stick to photos in on your Mac or um, the Apple style photo books, it's a great choice. The second one who does the same is Presto Photos. And Presto Photo again is in America. Both of these albums are available worldwide, but Presto Photo offers a little bit more because they can create the same Apple photo books in a lay flat format, which was not available before. And I don't think any other company can do that with the Apple style photo books. Also Presto is not exclusively doing um, Apple uh, imitations. They also have a huge range of other photo books and photo gifts so you can create lay flat books and um, other everyday style photo books. The last category I want to mention is concept books. So I put everything here which is kind of very unique in its idea or in its look. So they might fit into the other categories that I mentioned but I think there's something about them that really makes them stand out from the rest. It's a little bit different. So the first one here that I want to mention is the wooden photo book by Pixmig. And this is still one of my favorite kind of concept books because it's just so unique and it's, it's such a keepsake kind of photo book. Uh, Pixmig is located in Macedonia and they ship worldwide and they could easily fit into the photographic wedding albums category because that's what they do. But I want to mention their wooden photo book, which is very unique because no other photo book company does it to my knowledge. So it's basically a real wood box, a silver halide um, photographic photo book inside with a wooden cover. So it's, it's, it looks very kind of rustic and it has a very unique feel to it. I featured this in many videos before. So if you want to see a full length review, have a look at the links below. The second one I want to talk about is Squared, which I think is in the Cherry Public, if I'm not mistaken. And this company makes two kinds of photo books, which you wouldn't normally think of as very special, but the way they look really sets them apart from everything else on the market. They have this kind of recycled cardboard uh, cover and the spines are these vivid colors. And if you put them nicely on the shelf, they look so pretty and they kind of add a lot of color to your shelves or to your room. They come in a booklet format and in a lay flat, more premium format. They're very pretty photo books. Again, not photographic and not specifically wedding albums, although you could do some wedding photos in them, but it's more for everyday purposes, travel and family memories. The next one is my social books, which technically is not a photo book, but it's still, it looks like a photo book, but its purpose is to print out your social media history or life. So if you have a Facebook account or an Instagram account and you want to see it in a book, this app is capable of pulling all your information and organizing it into a photo book with content, chapters, dividers, and so on. And you see all your posts, comments, likes, and basically your entire social life in a book. So if you love social media and if you want to preserve your social media memories and history, then I think this is amazing. And this is the only book which is capable of doing this. 
there are other companies who can pull photos from Instagram and Facebook, but it's not the same thing because this actually pulls your entire history, not just the photos themselves. And the last one I want to mention here is Journey. I talked about them in the past. I think it's a company in Austria. They make very simple hardcover, perfect bound photo books, but it's mostly aimed at travelers and the photo book basically creates automatic maps and stories um, based on the geo data in your photos. So if you go traveling in South America and you take your photos with your phone, you add them to this app, it's going to create a map of your entire journey and it's going to put the photos in, in a chronological order and it's going to put all the information that it finds about the photos into the photo book and it's completely automated. So it's a great idea if you want that kind of uh, interactive look to your photo book. So this was the end of my 2021 favorites. As you can see, it's quite a lot of different photo books, but I wanted to mention them for one reason or another. If you want to see a lot more information about these photo books, uh, there's going to be links in the description below, or you can go to my blog, thephotobookguru.com slash uh, companies and find out more information about these photo books. Also, if you go to my blog, you'll find the latest voucher codes for all of these companies that I have reviewed in the past. Most of them will have deals 30, 40, 50, 60, even 70% off. So make sure you don't pay full price when you don't have to. If you have any more questions about these books, leave them in the comments and let me know what other um, videos you would like to see. Thank you very much for watching. As always, subscribe for more.